Rogue is bailed out of jail by Keith the Death Mage again, even though Rogue killed him that one time. Rogue wishes everyone were that understanding. We got off on the wrong foot, but that don't mean we can't do business in it. Now, how much you want for that ammo? All right, all right, take it back. Forget the ammo for now. Tell you what, there's a staff. I'll pay you to get it for me. Rogue has some staffs. Take a look. Look, it can't just be any staff. I need you to go and get me... Rogue? Is that the staff of Magus you just tossed on the floor? I guess. Blessed gates of oblivion. I struck a gold mine with this one. This is Rogue. Rogue likes two things. Treasure and killing. Rogue goes to Solitude looking for some staff, only he can't really remember where he's supposed to find it. Ask. I once captained a ship called the Argent Raptor. She struck an iceberg and went down just north of Windhelm. Nah, that's not it. No, no, Rogue isn't going in there and buying another outfit. You know you can afford a Septimo too. Nice try, sign. Not today. Mara and Abella demand compassion. I shall not stop you, but please, try to attend to your temple duties as well. Hmm? Sorry, I was lost in thought. I'm planning my wedding, you see. Literally so nobody cares, lady. If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink that outfit. Even the Lumberjacks want to play dress up with Rogue. Where's that weird music coming from? What is this place? I'm a bard from the Bard's College here in Solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. Why not? Rogue could learn you the drums. My name. Someday everyone will be saying it. Yeah, I already have no idea who you are. Rogue can't hear a damn thing. I can't understand what you're saying. Not much. There's a bar that I find the whole affair depressing. What'd you say? Yes. What? What? Might still exist in dead man's now. respite. I need you to retrieve the poem. Uh, what? Okay, Rogue gets it now. Go to a dungeon, get a poetry book, and then they'll burn someone named Olaf to death. Rogue didn't follow that last part, but maybe after he'll get to play the drums. This one has something sweet for the fellow traveler, if it entices. What do you got, like sweet rolls? The finest skooma, the sweetest moon sugar, at a fair price, of course. Say no to drugs, kids. Rogue is just taking that stuff for, uh, research. This place is really far. If Rogue doesn't get there soon, he's gonna forget where he's going. Wait. Walk always in the light, or we will drag you to it. Ah, two of you! More people like Arcano. Freaky. What is that? Make it quick. If you insist. Rogue is king of the leaf people. <laughs> there at last. All this for some old poem. Well, at least Rogue gets to do some killing now. Starting with that blue guy over there. Rogue so deadly, he'll kill your ghost.
charge. What was Rogue doing again? Ow. Ow. Good times. Plus, Rogue's headache is gone. He also can't feel the right side of his face. That's probably normal. Ah, you've returned. How goes the task I gave you? It was easy. I even killed a ghost. I have to admit, I didn't think it would actually be there. Wait, what? Now, let's take a look at this. Oh. Oh, no. This won't do at all. The copy is incomplete. It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable. And the parts that are readable... They suck, I know. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf Festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. Who cares? Let's just make something up. Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. Then let's get to work. Death dealing demon and dragon killing king. King Olaf was Olaf One Eye. Nah, all right. I'm, I'm writing that in. I'm sure about the court, but I find that much more probable than Olaf capturing a dragon. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. What do we say happened? <laughs> and they got the orders backwards. <laughs> yes, I'm writing that in. <laughs> It has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come! Yeah, I'll be right there, buddy. I just have to do... something. How are your students coming along? Careful with that! Actions, no problem. Me. They just interrupt the rest of my work. I'm sorry to break it to you, Giro. <laughs> okay, let's go. Ah, Viarmo. I assume you are here to petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf Festival. I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. Olaf and Numenex drank barrels of mead. By the time the hangover passed, dragonborn babies everywhere. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. He filled Skyrim with wolves that bite once and run away. I hate those things. So ends the story of Olaf the Liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of solitude commit to the fire. Okay, big finish. I know, right? You've done us a great service here. I can't begin to thank you enough. May song speed you along. Hey, watch what you're doing. Jail review for Castle Dower Dungeons. Cold, wet, and overall pretty comfortable. 
But there's a problem. Shoddy workmanship. Still, this is convenient. But there's nobody to fight, so... Pretty good, but final rating 13 out of 4. Not quite perfect. Hi, doggy. So... What was Rogue doing? A coin or two for a veteran? Now that wasn't it. Well, when in doubt, go drinking. Hey, there's Keith. Maybe he knows what I'm doing. Hello, yes. I'm the Dean of History. Who cares? Oh, wait. That's the Bard's time. College Burning Man Festival mm -hmm. tonight. Rogue is doing that for sure. So you got it then? You got my staff? Uh, staff? Bloody hell. Rogue, you were supposed to get a star from a bad man. Are you a total fuck? Can't you remember anything? You'll just have to go get it right now, tonight. Go on then. Say that again, Keith. Uh, what I meant to say was, take your time. Tomorrow, next week, whatever works for you. That's what I thought. Stupid mage. Rogue gets to work on some beers before Burning Man. Meanwhile, in the Temple of Talos. Hey, pardon me for asking, but are you Bjorn, High Priest of Talos? I am blessed to be able to say that I am. I live to bring the loving word of Talos to all of Skyrim. Is that large pile of high elf body parts outside the doing? I am blessed to be able to say that it is. I live to rip any blasphemous Talbot I find into little pieces wherever I can. Oh, they were Thalmar. They're so mangled I couldn't tell. Yes, I admit. Sometimes I get a bit carried away when I'm executing the will of mighty Talos. So what happened? Got a Thalmar patrol by surprise? Well... <laughs> Their stream sounded surprised as I pulled their arms off. But I didn't sneak up on them, if that's what you're saying. Alright, so uh, what happened exactly? Passing out of the ordinary, I was delivering a message to Heimskin Vitrun when I ran into a blasphemous Talmor patrol. I started with the filthy soldier in the front, visiting his head around three times before I was able to pull it off. As you can imagine, that got the rest of them a... Uh, Bit excited, and one of them took a swing at me as their axe. So of course I removed the arms that so blasphemously attacked a high priest of Talos. <laughs> then I okay, proceeded okay, to... Okay, okay, I get the picture. Tell you what. <clears throat> How would you like to destroy an enemy of the Stormcloaks? If it means destroying a blasphemer against Talos, just try and stop me. Bjorn... I've got a feeling you and I are going to become very good friends. Now, have you heard of an orc named Rogue? 